New Jersey is home to a fantastic collection of the obscure and unique. From mysterious folklore, magical locales, to backdrops suited for indie film glory, come explore just a sampling of what this great state has to offer the offbeat traveler. There's no better way to start off our journey than with a little magic. Martinka and Company in Midland Park has been in business since 1875, making it the oldest magic shop in America with a pretty interesting history. In 1902, the Society of American Magicians was founded in the back room. It also had an interesting string of owners. In 1919, Harry Houdini owned our shop and became the president. And in our display here, we have some artifacts that are still with the store today. We have a stock certificate that he signed. We have the catalog that was issued while he was the owner. The first thing he did was put his face right on the cover. There's also a pair of rare handcuffs that belong to him. Today we carry thousands of different magic tricks. We supply professionals all over the world, as well as easy tricks for beginners that come in our store. From magic shops to movie magic, dozens of movies have been filmed or inspired by locations in New Jersey. New Jersey native Kevin Smith, a famous director and one half of the dynamic duo Jay and Silent Bob, has filmed all his movies in the Garden State. His first movie, Clerks, was filmed at a Quick Stop convenience store in Leonardo, where Smith actually worked. Die-hard Kevin Smith fans should also make a trip to Red Bank to visit his comic book store, Jay and Silent Bob's Secret Stash, where many unusual props from his films are on display. In early 2012, Secret Stash will also become an unscripted television series on the AMC network, capturing the dedication and excitement surrounding comic book culture. This place is the mecca for Kevin Smith fans and for comic aficionados uh, around the world. We have a host of Jay and Silent Bob memorabilia, movie used props, original artwork adorns the wall, and we have every comic book, superhero comic book imaginable. We also have in action figures, we've got clothing, bowling shirts. We've got just about anything Kevin Smith related that you can imagine. Imagine this, a seven foot tall creature covered in scales with bat-like wings and eyes described as glowing embers. Many New Jersey natives claim they've seen this monster known as the Jersey Devil wandering around the Pine Barrens shrieking into the night. At Ripley's Believe It or Not in Atlantic City, visitors can catch a glimpse of the beast's remains. It's a very devilish looking creature and in some illustrations of what the Jersey Devil looks like, it's a very frightening looking creature. But in other illustrations, some people make it look sort of whimsical or comical. The good thing about coming to a Ripley's Museum is that uh, in most of the Ripley's Museums, you can go to that museum and see things that are uh, unique to that location. And like in our museum here in Atlantic City, we have exhibits that are about people or things that happened right here in New Jersey or in the local area. A mythical devil stalking the woods, locales fit for a film, magic worthy of Houdini. If you have a taste for the obscure, New Jersey has more than a few unusual destinations to explore.